how I didn't have anything above my desk and I really wanted to find something to go above my desk. I really wanted it to be kind of like an inspirational type of space, you know, when I'm like working and doing my makeup and stuff. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do up there. So this video I'm going to show you guys what I decided to put up there and how you guys can organize the places above your desk. All of these things are pretty much DIY and it was super, they weren't super cheap but they were on the cheaper side. I think I did my entire space above my desk for under $40 which is a pretty good deal and all this stuff is super organizational and it's going to help you um, stay super organized throughout the following year and summer all that kind of stuff so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you try out any of these diys make sure to send me a picture on instagram or twitter using the hashtag diy with mckenna and you guys can send them to me on those social medias and they will be linked down below so you can go follow me and tweet me and instagram me all of your pictures and let's go ahead and get started so for this first DIY, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a really cool sunglass holder slash organizer. So what you're going to be needing is some a frame, some twine, and some spray paint. So first all I did was just took my frame, and if you have a glass in it, I would definitely take it out. And I am just putting a primer on, but you don't have to do that. After the primer dries, I am just putting my blue spray paint on. You can bet you and I am just sanding that a little bit, that's optional. Next, I am taking some sunglasses to measure right about where I want my twine and I am duct taping that on. I would actually recommend using a staple gun though because the duct tape fell off, so I would definitely recommend using a staple gun. I placed the sunglasses on there just to see where I wanted the second wire to hang and that is it. <laughs> Now for the second DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this really cool rustic shelf. So all you're going to be needing is some silver and gold paint and also a sponge. So, so first I'm just taking some tape and taping everything off so it doesn't get on the wood. I got this shelf from Hobby Lobby just in case you guys were wondering. Um, I didn't totally DIY the shelf by myself, but basically I just took the silver paint, painted that all over the metal, and then I splotched some gold on there, and I thought it turned out super cool, so I definitely wanted to share that with you guys. For the last thing, I'm going to be showing you guys some DIY mason jars, and all you're going to be needing for this is some paint, some sandpaper, and a paintbrush. I you are just going to be go ahead and taking your mason jars and just painting on whatever color you'd like. I'm using yellow today. Then you're going to go ahead and let those dry. And once they are dry, I'm just taking some sandpaper and sanding them down. Once they're done, I just slipped some pencils and pens in there and you are completely finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys try out any of these DIYs, make sure to send me a pictures on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag DIYWithMckenna. And I would love to like and favorite them. Bring me